The National Medal for Museum and Library Services is the nation's highest honor for libraries and museums that are serving their communities in exceptional ways. Columbus Museum of Art Executive Director Nanette Macy Junes and community member Jeffrey Tucker traveled to Washington from Columbus, Ohio to receive the National Medal and spoke to IMLS about how the museum impacts the community. Well, the Columbus Museum of Art has been on a great journey. Uh, it's, it's been an incredible ride. So we wanted to go on a journey where people wanted to spend time with us. They wanted to come and be at the art museum. In fact, one of the things we talk about a lot is when you talk about a library, you always talk about using a library, but you always talk about visiting a museum. What would it look like to use a museum? What would that look like? It was really part of your life and it was, you know, there was this sort of, you know, interactive relationship with your art museum. What would that look like? So that's the journey we decided to go on. And so one of the things we did was we embraced the idea of being about creativity because there isn't anyone, if you're really talking about everyone, talk about something everyone needs and every one of us needs creativity in our lives. I mean, if we're going to solve the problems of the 21st century, we need creativity. We need people to think outside the box, think entirely new thoughts. Um, Art Lab is one of our new programs. So this is an immersion program where it's 12 to 20 kids from different schools. You know, they're regularly with us, you know, each week, all year long. And the idea is for them to for us to find out what interests them related to creativity in the arts and then also how do they see the museum in a different way. I didn't really know what Art Lab was but I knew my internship was at a museum but once we actually start doing stuff in Art Lab I realized it was a cool program we like make videos we traveled all around Columbus we played with like MacBooks and HD cameras like oh my god it was just so cool like we had a certain topic and our topic was how does something relate back to the museum. So we'll go out, we'll make a video, but it has to relate back to the museum, if that makes sense. But now it has completely broadened. Like this year we did a social Sunday for this year Art Lab interns, and there were so many different topics. Like there was a group that talked about um, how do you save puppies. <laughs> and there was also a group about how, um, how you recycling more can help with the water and pollution. So honestly, our lab has truly evolved to something like what you really enjoy doing and try and make it more public and known, like media-based. I was the master disaster of technology. <laughs> Seriously, do not give me a computer because I feel like I'll break it. Like, I just refuse to touch it. But once I like done art lab, like my mentor, Kristen Lance, like she made me go touch a camera. She made me go on MacBook. Like, she like made me do it because she said like the only way for you to enjoy it is for you to get used to it. So like I was really nervous, I knew nothing like, but now I can't see myself living without it. I really want to make a statement on how I can make it as a film producer or something across media, like that's my big dream, that's my big goal that I have in mind and I couldn't have done that without the museum. I think that Jeffrey embodies what we're trying to do because Jeffrey has discovered his, his creativity. He's discovered his passion for life by connecting with the art museum. The fact that he discovered that at the art museum, I think for me, is the most validating thing about what we've done. He, he found it at the museum and he'll take it out into the world from the art museum. Connecting people in art is so, is so important because I think that's at its core what art museums started out to be. You know, art museums live in this wonderful tension between, uh, between the art and the people. Because art museums, or any kinds of museums and libraries, are about, they're the and. They're the art and people. It is the connection. It is the, the discoveries. It is the aha moments. It's, it's all that you discover when you're with the object. And one thing that makes us very unique as an art museum um, is that a, a lot of people are trying very experimental programs. But to change, to be willing to experiment with the experience inside the gallery. And we have been very bold. And I think that sets the Columbus Museum of Art apart. 
We call these interactive elements inside our regular galleries. I mean, there are wonderful works of art surrounding you. There are, you know, Renaissance paintings, modern pictures around you on the walls, a regular gallery. And we'll introduce uh, a post-it note station where you we ask you a question, and then you can write on a post-it note and put it there. And, and sometimes we'll, these are hugely popular. People love to have a conversation around post-it, through post-it notes. And they'll even like draw arrows to the other post-it notes. I totally agree, disagree with this person, and they should not say that. You know, or <laughs> I agree, or I think this, or you know. So this idea of having an interactive post-it note station in an art museum gallery is very unusual. Those conversations that you have at art museums, those connections between people and then between people and the art object and the artist that created it, those are things that for us has been the journey we've been trying to go on.